Rogue Tear, we still winning. Magic Card, oh, we extending. Dark Law, he still contending. So Yugi peoples, welcome to the commentary. All right, so this match right here would be one of the matches that would determine who's going to top four. I win the dice roll, and I'm going to go first. Start off with that Elemental Hero Stratos to go grab Shadow Miss, which, you know, is kind of a weird play if you know that, um, you know, what I'm playing and I, that I cannot special summon the Shadow Miss with the Elemental Hero Solid Soldier now that I already use my summon, my normal summon for the turn. So instead, I grabbed it because I have Super Poly in my hand. We're going to go ahead and use Instant Contact here. We're going to bring out the Neo Spatian level four so that we can go ahead and make Babuska here. I think I said, I think, I want to say it was two Super Polys that I had. And I just went ahead, you know, took a chance, set both of them. The last card in hand, or one of the last cards in hand. The last card in hand is um the what's his name shadow miss so now it's funny because right before this game started he was just talking trash about this card and now it's got him scrambling so yeah he's trying to decide what he wants to do and he'll finally decide trying to make moves like one of the things i like about this deck is it makes it hard for them to use their big steel effects without um without having to banish their own monsters and stuff because a lot of times unless i just choose to dark law i don't have to put a dark monster inside of the graveyard for them and like as you can see the two monsters that i have on the board now i still wouldn't have to put a dark monster out on the board if i i mean into my graveyard unless i really just chose to so yeah and he's gonna start off with lubelion and now he's still trying to figure out what to do against this babuska which and you know he's playing that um branded bestials there goes the branded opening discards the alubur to go ahead and add the tragedy to his hand and you know he's playing in a lower version so that's why he went ahead and added it to hand there goes the lower the draw to and then we're gonna see the banish of the tragedy and still not gonna help him in this situation. He's just like in a really bad predicament right here. He goes and heads that at the one that lets him um I guess like fusion summon like a level eight or something like that. It's just like a quick play. Pretty nice card, and it gets the special summon itself to the board. So, you know, if Babuska wasn't here, I'm pretty sure he could do some nice things right now. But you know, it's nice to have that big old floodgate up there <laughs> sometimes. And now still thinking through his moves and whatnot. Just remember, these videos are sped up. So, like, double the amount of time it's taking him to take this turn. <laughs> and it's funny because top four ended up, like, not being able to get played out, you know, because of, you know, people got into an argument about time etiquette, you know, during turns and card play and it was like escalated into something huge and yeah it just ended up having to cancel the event at top four so unfortunately that's the way it turned out but i guess like pretty fortunate for this man right here because he was about to get too old clapped you know I ain't gonna say no names but some might say he's built for it tough but this is the person who that two o is reserved for right here and he's gonna go ahead and summon the what is it the sudden near thing or whatever and there goes the branded fusion and i believe just like at this point he's trying to make sure that he has the proper cards inside of his graveyard in order to special summon out the the fusion the fusion monster thing so he's gonna bring out the albion and i was making fun of him asking him if he was gonna activate albion's effect since he brought him out <laughs> uh shoot but yeah so here he's going to go ahead and send the albion to bring out the lubelion so that he can get that albion effect during the end phase and then there goes the fallen of albas he's gonna activate the effect now i'm not sure why he activated the effect i don't know why he needed the alibur in the graveyard 
I'm not too sure, but in the end phase, he's going to go ahead and get this um, Albion effect. Nothing I can really do about that. And it's going to get the branded banishment. So, yeah, this is his inboard versus Babuska during the end phase. Go ahead and super poly. That way I can go ahead and get this shadow miss effect. We're going to do the, the bestial and the falling of Albaz. And we're going to go ahead and bring out our boy Garura. Garura? Because they're both dark dragons with different names. And, you know, just like kind of looking at this, I was like, man, I can like really like OTK him. But, you know, I kind of forgot the bandit brandishment was back there. And, yeah, I need to get him to use that so I can go ahead and super polish some more stuff. <laughs> During the standby phase, we're going to detach Stratos because originally I was thinking that I would, um use stratos to destroy the back row so i could go ahead and force out the um go ahead and force him out to use the brandishment instead of for him using the brand banishment at a time that's more convenient for him so we're going to summon the liquid soldier ask for a response target the stratos to special summon him out and you know i'm pretty sure at this point he's thinking um that i'm going to destroy back row i'm reading this thing because i know it's like a quicker play effect thing or something that he can do we're gonna bring out the stratos i'm going to activate stratos's effect and i do want to say that i did decide to destroy back row that way i can go ahead and force out the banishment and see what he's going to do with it so in comes the banishment He's going to summon the Alibur and then use my Liquid Soldier and my Stratos to Fusion Summon. I was like, oh, shoot, is he about to sunrise me or something? <laughs> no, nah. but unfortunately, he can't bring out the card that he wanted to bring out using those two. So he's going to end up having to use the use the Alibur and the Garura and it gets banished. So I don't get the draw. But he's going to use those to bring out the Draco Spapelia, the Draco Spapelia there. And I actually did not target the back row. I guess I didn't. I forget why I didn't do it. But I actually used it to go get the Honest Neos because I really felt like I was going to be able to game him this turn. And yeah, so now we got the Draco Spapelia out on the board. And... I am going to go ahead and try and find a way to finish him. He goes ahead and asks the Spriggan's kit, which is fine. No arguments here. And that other card that I have face down there is like another <laughs> super poly. It's kind of crazy that I drew double super poly against this man. But, you know, this deck draws kind of nutty for me. It's possibly because I'm using like all nothing but um, heroes here. So we're going to go ahead, flip up the super poly, discarding the hero lives to bring out the mud dragon. And, you know, we should have plenty of damages here on board he's trying to decide what he can do here but i'm pretty sure that he knows that his um his goose is cooked at this point <laughs> we're like thinking up damage stuff here and he doesn't know that i have mass change declare attack with stratos damage step honest neos to hit him for what i believe it was 16 then you got 19 there from the mud dragon 14 there from graceful charity we needed somebody with a calculator so that they could add it all up. I didn't want there to be any accidental lethal here. I wanted it to be for sure lethal. <laughs> and then Mass Change my Stratos into Mass Hero Blast. And yep, that'll be all of his life points. So I guess under certain conditions, this deck does still have the ability to OTK sometimes. I guess like especially when you have that Super Poly is really, really nice. So unfortunately, um, that's going to pretty much be the end of this video because it was during i want to say our second game that the altercation ended up happening over there at the other table and he got i ain't gonna ain't gonna lie this this young man here he got he got pretty lucky because my opening hand was very busted and he was about to get too old he was about to get too old so you see a side deck in here because i want to show y'all 
the hand that I had and y'all see that I was playing against that I was playing against branded V seals and y'all tell me yeah I'm gonna let y'all be the judge of whether I was about to 2-0 clap this man hold on let me um cut some of this out so y'all can see my 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 hand for game two all right so I want to say there was a big like 20 minute gap in between there and when we come back to the table and I just kind of spread out my hand you know sometimes you just got to let them know that if you look at my hand, he was about to get served here, 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 and here. This man was cooked. That's it. It was the end of it. Like, I was going to completely destroy whatever he did. And he probably wouldn't even be able to do nothing because I would have embermed his little impe- impelion. And what's his name? <laughs> uh, Lubelion. Yeah. So, yeah. Y'all let me know. Was that man too old? I'm pretty sure he was too old. And that's why this next one is reserved for him. But that's all I got for this dual cheer. And I want to say appreciate you for everybody who stayed a while to listen. And I will catch you on the next video. Ain't nobody messing with the mask hero king of games. Mask off, now you see that a hero lives. I pay half and you ask, but I'm winning games. There ain't another hero that surpasses me.